Hello, today we scientists shoot plate. See what happens. We have two ballistic plates. One is made out of AR500 steel and it's level 3. And the second one is more conventional. It's a level 4 plate. It's made of a composite <laughs> of ceramics. And I think this one is from DuPont Tensilon material which is high density polyethylene as a backing. We'll subject these ballistic plates to different rifle rounds, the ones that are rated for and the ones that they are not. The plates will be set up in this configuration with a clay block behind them so we can see if there is any back phase deformation or if there is any transfer of the force of the round or in extreme case if we get penetration. First up is the VZ58 with a short barrel this one is chambered in 7.62 times 39. It has a suppressor on it, which doesn't make much of a difference, but it looks really cool. A VZ58 with a short barrel is no match for a good AR500 steel plate. But if a steel plate does not have a good protective coating on it to protect from spool and uh, shrapnels, it can still be deadly. Sure, the plate stops the round, but the shrapnel flying from the plate can hit you up in the neck, cut your jugular and you're done. We have noticed that recently there is a lot of hate for steel plates and some of it is justified, but you have to know that not all steel plates are created equal. I know for a fact that uh, Steel Ops makes really good steel plates with really good uh, protective coating and they made uh, tests that I think you can find on YouTube where they show that their plates really can hold up not just to rifle threads over the NIJ level 3 limit but also they can contain all of the shrapnel so not everything is always black and white next up is the Schmeisser SBR chambered in 5 of 6 times 45 <laughs> What's interesting to mention is that there is no noticeable back face deformation on the steel plate. We can clearly see that there was still a transfer of force and you can see that clearly on the clay block. And now we step up the game with the FAL which is chambered in 308 or 7.62 times 51 NATO. The plate did stop a 308 round which is rated for, but I think it's already on the limit. As we can see, there's a lot of deformation in the plate already. Now, let's try to punch a hole through it. This is a Zastava M76, which is essentially a scaled up AK, chambered in 8mm Mauser. And for the end, the Mosin gun chambered in 7.62 times 54R. What a surprising result. The steel plate stopped everything. Though what we notice is that there is some back phase deformation and obviously a big transfer of force. I'm very surprised by the performance of the steel plate Though we have to take into consideration that today we did not use any armor piercing ammunition and usually what defeats a steel plate is a small very fast round. So a 2 to 3 from a 20 inch barrel with a proper bullet could probably go through. What we had here, uh, we had some bigger rounds with a lot of energy, which is obvious, but because they were not armor piercing, they had a lot of mass but spread out over a bigger area, they were not able to punch through.
modern composite plate will first shatter and break up the bullet and then the backing material will capture the fragments. Now, when the ceramic is hit, it will shatter and a part of the ceramic will fly out of the plate. Good quality ballistic plates usually have some ballistic material over the ceramics, like in this case where we can see here. And what this does is prevents that those fragments of ceramic would hit the wearer of the plate. Though the remaining ceramic shards are very sharp and they can cut you, they do not have enough velocity or energy to do any serious damage. With the first shot from the Mose in the gun, I accidentally almost hit the same hole, so we did another shot here. Why is this important to mention? Because composite plates are usually not rated for multiple hits at the same point. This is a proper level 4 NIJ rated plate and it has multi-hit capabilities. But what you have to know is that those capabilities are tested with shots at least one inch apart. What we have here is what is essentially um, a downside of any ceramic plate. We were able to hit almost at the same hole as before. As you can see, when you hit the plate, the ceramic shatters and flies out and it leaves a hole where only the backing ballistic material is exposed. And if, if you hit it with a powerful enough round, it will go through, as in our case. Now, as far as I know, this is a common problem for all of the ballistic plates that use ceramic. But in real world conditions, a hit to the same hole twice would be very unlikely. But it can happen. Conclusion? If I can try to summarize everything from today, I would have to say that uh, nothing is black or white. Each type of the ballistic plate has its advantages and drawbacks. For example, the steel plate, it can truly take multiple hits even at the same point of impact. But on the other side, it's heavy. It does not offer that high of ballistic resistance and of course, spalling. If you cannot control and contain the spalling, you get hurt. Now the composite ceramic plate offers a higher level of ballistic protection and it's lighter. It is multi-hit rated, but if you are able to hit near the same bullet impact, you can penetrate the plate. At least in our case, we were able to hit almost at the same hole and we hit it with the Mose in the gun that is 7.62 times 54R. It is a very powerful cartridge and it went through the plate. What we have also then tried is mag dumping five of six rounds into the whole plate and then even shooting one round directly at only the backing ballistic material, so no ceramic at all. And surprisingly, all of the rounds were stopped. That means that the backing material here is probably almost level three and that ceramic outer layer offers protection for higher ballistic threats. Now, what I also want to mention here is that the steel plate performed very well in this test today, even with some rifle rounds that it's probably not rated for. But what we don't have here is a very fast, small caliber bu bullets. For example, five of six certain rounds for a 20-inch barrel, they have high velocity, or for example, AP rounds like the M855A1, which has a steel penetrator, it will go through this steel plate without a problem. Ceramic can easily deal with light, high velocity projectiles, but with big, massive bullets with a lot of energy, it can stop it, but as we saw in our case today, when the ceramics get broken up and shot out of the plate, where there is no ceramic uh, left, that is a vulnerable area and this is where you can penetrate the plate. Of course, real life situations are a bit different than testing here, but still, it is a thing that you should consider. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely learned something new today. If you find this kind of videos interesting, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you soon. We will shoot. I will shoot. I shoot. Because in present perfect continuous, this with this. Also with the gun. I have many guns. Most of them penetrate. Penetrate body.